welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my winter foundation routine. Now I've been using these exact same products for about two months now and it's been working really really well for me. I have combination skin where it's like really dry on the outside part of my face around the mouth, the nose and then on the t-zone area like on my nose bridge and like you know the ball of my nose and everything it gets really oily throughout the day so I'm really excited to you know have found what works for my skin type and it lasts all day long so I thought it'd be great to share it with you guys because I know some of you have the same skin type as I do because I know how hard it is to find products that works for you um, you know usually it's either like super super matte or super super dewy this right here gives you just the perfect kind of balance. Um, I have oily t-zone so it's kind of matte in the center part of my face and then everywhere else just has that natural um, kind of dewy finish so I really have been enjoying it. It's like very natural. Also this routine will give you that great coverage without having to layer on so much makeup because y'all know me less is more for me so I just love this I can wear this makeup all day long and not have to retouch so if you want to see my foundation routine then go ahead and keep on watching I really hope that you enjoy it okay so I'm gonna start off with my face primer and this has been my go-to for the past few months now it is the wet n wild photo focus face primer I love this primer because it keeps my face oil free and also it really smooths out my skin so when I apply my foundation it glides on very nicely. I just absolutely love it. For foundation, this has been my go-to as well. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I am in the color Cream Beige and I just love this for every single day and you can't beat the prize. I paid $4 for this product and I just love it. I'm getting, you know, my money's worth. Um, it also wears really good throughout the day. The coverage is also very, very good and the finish is just beautiful. So I just really highly recommend this product. All right, so next is concealer. I really do like the Wet n Wild photo focus concealer but the color that I have is a little too dark for me so for today I'm just gonna be using my YSL all hours concealer I really recommend this concealer it's really great it has a very natural finish and has really good coverage so it really covers up everything on your skin without it looking caked up if you know what I mean you can really layer it on and it still looks really good and natural so I'm going to go ahead and just cover up some dark spots um, on my face that I need a little bit more coverage on. Okay, now on to the under eye area. Now I like it to be a little bit brighter. Sometimes I like it like with a little bit more coverage, sometimes without. So here are two concealers that I love for my under eye. Now if I want a full coverage, like just in the corners right here, which is what I'm going to do today because I'm going to be filming all day. I like to use the Kevin Aquan. Super Natural Concealer and this is the EC Corrector. This is what it looks like right here. And then if I want just a little bit of brightening and you know, want it to look very natural, like really effortless, um, I like to use the YSL Touche Claw Concealer. Today I'm going to be using the Kevin Aucoin one and this is really really full coverage. I love these concealers. I also have it in other colors so if I want a little bit more coverage like you know, when I'm trying to cover something, I use the Kevin Kwan because it's really good, full coverage, and it looks natural, just like the name. Um, so anyways, for my under eye, I don't like to apply a whole lot. I literally just do like, like a little dot like that on both sides. And then I just go in and blend it out with the same brush. By the way, I always get questions about this. This is the Artiste palm brush. I absolutely love it for concealers and foundations. It is the best. I use it all the time. I don't even use my sponges anymore, my foundation brushes. This is all I use. It's just so good and it is actually very easy to clean. I, I clean this about once a week. I really should clean it a little bit more because this is like after a week of using it. It's pretty dirty already but I love it and yeah it's easy to clean. It's very nice and soft. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and just 
blend this all out again I don't want a whole lot of um, coverage underneath the eyes so I just apply a little bit just like that you can already tell the difference and that is that now what I like to do is set the under eye area because I do tend to crease underneath the eyes because I do have lines there so what I like to use is the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Loose Powder this is what it looks like it's amazing um, so I'm just gonna grab a brush and apply this on the under eye area just to really set this I don't really do baking anymore you guys I just feel like my skin is combination and sometimes baking just makes me look too dry like it really kind of accentuates my dry areas and it tend to look cakey sometimes so I haven't been really doing some baking um, I just kind of lightly dust and you know it works pretty good shoe that's that I'm also gonna apply a little bit on the nose like on the creases right here because I do have an oily t-zone and I always get oily on my nose so right here I'm gonna do a little bit of baking but not like a whole lot like everyone else like I'm literally grabbing quite a bit on the brush and I'm tapping it on and just leaving it there see not a whole lot I'll go ahead and do a little bit on the eye too but just like that and then we can all like blend it out later all right so I'm back I did my eyes and my brows actually um, so anyways now I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of dust this off and then I'm gonna go ahead and set my entire face using this one this is the Lancome dual finish powder I love this powder as you can see um, I am in the color matte sand 3 and I'm just gonna do a light dusting of this throughout the face okay and then now we're gonna do some bronzer and like a little bit of contouring just add a little bit more dimension to the face so I'm gonna be using this guy this is from the number 7 um, this is the caramel bronzer this is what it looks like beautiful and I'm using the elf complexion brush seriously my favorite brush for contouring or um, applying my bronzer so I load it up pretty much on one side like this and then I literally press like that and it just creates that line really nicely and then I kind of blend it upwards just like that and see how it kind of gives you that contoured look I just love it and it's like easy and you're, that's it like done you can go ahead and build up the color if you want of course but like how easy is that right and I like to apply kind of like right here not underneath but like I don't know how to explain it just like right there also on the chin and then for my blush I have been just loving this one this is the by Terry compact expert dual powder and it's in the color amber light so as you can see it kind of has like a circle in the middle so this is matte the outer part and then the circle in the middle is like a highlighter almost I like to just mix the two together and it just gives me like a very natural like blush color on my cheeks and it kind of you know adds a little bit of shimmer which is nice and then for highlight I really love this one from Dior this is the Dior Nude Air Luminizer in the color number 3 as you can see it is just amazing like I'm telling you this highlight is like stunning like do you see that? it's beautiful you can definitely build it up to make it really intense or just add a little bit onto your face for a little bit of glow like it's beautiful 
I'm just gonna add this right there. Like, look at that. It's just, it's so pretty. Like, I love this highlight. And the brush I'm using is Luxie 540. It's a fan brush. This is like the fluffiest fan brush I have. I love it. Usually, I'm not a big fan of a fan brush. <laughs> but um, I really like this one because it is fluffy. It picks up the product really well. And yeah. I'm also going to apply a little bit on the cube as well like that. Okay. And that is pretty much it. I'm going to apply a lipstick in a little bit. But to set my face, all I use is the Wet n Wild again. And this is the Photo Focus Setting Spray. It just looks like this. And I love this. It keeps my face oil free. So I just spray all over and then let this dry. And then I apply my lipstick afterwards. And this is it, you guys. This is the finished look. I really love how everything looks together. Like, it's very natural. A little bit matte on the T-zone because I get, you know, oily there. But everywhere else, it's kind of like it still has the dewiness that you kind of want. Like, that glow from within look. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And also, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!